In today's video, you're going to learn how to create a faceless YouTube channel from start to finish using free AI tools. We will start by finding the right niche for you, looking at popular channels already doing the same, and checking their income to know if it's profitable. We will then write the script, create the video, add the voiceover, design the thumbnail, and show you how to optimize your videos so they get discovered on YouTube. And if you stick around till the end, I'll answer the two most common questions you may have about creating these types of videos. So let's get started. The fastest way to brainstorm a niche idea is to go to ChatGPT and ask it to give you a list of popular niches where you can use stock footage and voiceover for, meaning you won't be on camera doing this. And from the list it gave you, look at what piques your interest most to research further. Looking at this list, for instance, I know I can make videos for over half of it, so I chose personal development and asked it to give me video topics for it. However, ChatGPT does not have the data to know which video will perform well or not. So I'll copy one of these topics and open YouTube in an incognito window to search for the keyword. To make this process easier, you'll need this tool called vidIQ. It's free to use and I'll drop the link in the description below for you to install the extension and that of any other tools mentioned in this video. And you'll see that it says this keyword is highly competitive, which isn't advisable for newbies to go after. But what I usually do is to find channels in this niche that I can take ideas from. For instance, the first result is a TED Talk, which is clearly not what we want to create here. The second result is a motivational channel, which is also not the focus. And the third one is a personal channel. So you may need to scroll down until you find a channel here, like Alox, and keep searching till you gather a list of other channels that are using stock footage and voiceovers. With the little research from the topics, I was able to find Alox and Brainy Dose. To know how profitable they are, you can go to Social Blade and search their channel names. Alox is estimated to be making $14,000 every month, but this channel is not just about personal development. In fact, it is a luxury channel, so multiply this by four, and they are likely to be making over $50,000 per month. Brainy Dose is also estimated to be making $7,000, which may also be more, because Social Blade only uses $2 to $4 RPM in calculating this. So after you're sure that there is money to be made in this niche, the next thing is the topic to target. Of course, ChatGPT already gave us some, and there are many ways to do keyword research. But one of the easiest ways to find video ideas is to go to these channels and click on this vidIQ logo to view their trending videos. I'll do the same for the other channel as well, and the result may be limited if you're on the free plan, as on this account here. But the idea is the same. What you want to look for are videos that have been published a while ago and still trending. This means that these videos that were published a few days ago are not the target here because they are being viewed by their subscribers. But a video like this one, which was published over a year ago with 2.7 million views and still getting over 600 views per hour, is worth taking note of. The same applies to this other channel as well. And this topic is similar to the one we saw on ALOC, so we'll try to drill further down on this. Of course, it's not a must that you find similar topics like this on the channels, but if there is overlap among the channels, it will make the process easier. So searching smart habits on YouTube brings up both channels, while the other results under it are not really related, which is a good signal. The competition score is medium on vidIQ, but what if I told you that our goal here is not even to show up at the top of this result, which may eventually happen, of course, but I'll show you what you need to target as a beginner by the end of the video. To write your script, it's a good idea to watch the two videos to see the points and the angle they took not to copy them, but also not to drift away too much from what people want to watch on this topic. So go to ChatGPT and give it this prompt. I simply asked it to write a video script on the topic and gave it an instruction I want it to follow for the intro, the body, and the conclusion. For the purpose of this tutorial, I choose to write about three habits, but you can ask it to write 5, 10, 15 habits or more. Although the longer the number, the shorter the points it will write on each habit, and this is the most basic way I use to write my script. If you want to know the other two ways to get a much longer script from ChatGPT, I'll leave a video on that in the description below under the related videos which you may watch after this, so I'll copy this. And go to Pictory, which is my recommended tool to create videos fast, but most people don't use it the right way and in turn their videos look cheap. I'll show you how I use it to get good results by clicking on Proceed on the first block and pasting the script here. The first thing I like to do here is to remove unnecessary text such as the intro and the conclusion. Then I'll add a period at the end of each subtopic and copy all the texts one more time to my clipboard, which will be useful in a while. 
The next thing I'd like to do is to break this into smaller chunks, and although Pictory can do this automatically, breaking it this way will make it easier to change the scenes as many times as possible, thereby increasing the viewer retention. Also, whenever I'm creating these types of videos, I like to turn off the Auto Highlight Keywords option on the scene settings, as I think it's more useful for promotional videos, and if I need it eventually, I will highlight it by myself in the editor. Then click on Proceed to choose a template which can always be customized, and select the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. You may need to wait for some seconds depending on the length of the video, as the Pictory AI will gather videos and pictures it thinks matches your script most, and it usually does a pretty good job. As you can see, since the first sentence is a quote from Albert Einstein, it tries to find a video of him here, and also did the same for other clips as well, but we will make some edits to make it better. The next step is to change some of the clips by going to the Visuals tab on the left and we can choose the second suggestion, which looks better for the quote. So all you need is to go to each scene and change the ones you don't like either, by choosing from the suggestions or by typing a related keyword on the search field and choosing a relevant one. But most of them are usually accurate. Then for the headings of the subtopics, there are a number of ways to do this. If you check the videos we saw earlier, you can see how they do theirs but I'll show you one way you can go about it here, which is to go to the Textures tab on the Visuals section and choose one of these. I'll then click on the text to customize it by changing the background color to black and the highlight color to green. I'll move this to the middle and select the text Number 1, then click on this pen icon to highlight it. You may also click on this icon to apply the position to all the texts, and on the top you can save this as a style in order to reuse it later. Let's go to the second heading and click on the same texture to change the background. Then I'll increase the text box so that it fits on a line and highlight the number as we did earlier. I'll repeat the same for the last one as well and we can go back to the first scene. I'll move this quote to the left like this and highlight a part of it to stand out a bit. And with the second icon you may change the animation as you like. For the other text, it's unnecessary to have them showing on the clips. I'd rather export it as a subtitle then have it here. So I'll hide them in the settings and apply it to all the scenes. Then I'll go to the scenes, I want the text to appear, and toggle the button off. This is for the first scene and the subheadings, and can also be for any scenes you wish to highlight the key points with texts. Another thing which is standard in video editing is to include transitions, and you can add it on this icon. Hovering your mouse on the options will show you the preview, and we can choose fade for this. If you want to apply the same transition between the clips, you may click on this, and it will be applied to the entire video. You can also remove it between some clips if you wish, and I will change some others to a different one which you can always tweak after you're done. The next step is the voiceover. This is available on the audio tab, and the voices I like most are Edith and James, both of which are under UK English. I'll apply one of them and preview it for you to see. Albert Einstein once said, Intellectual growth should commence at birth and cease only at death. But how do we ensure that we continue to grow intellectually every day? Well, the good news is that there are simple and everyday habits that we can incorporate into our lives to become smarter. In this video, I'll share with you three everyday habits. In my opinion, this looks good. But many times I shared this, people are skeptical about it and say it sounds robotic and that's why I recommend Fleeky, which has a lot of realistic voiceover. So I'll paste the script here in a new project and click on Sarah to choose a voice. Flicky helps you create audio and video content using lifelike AI voices in less than a minute. Flicky helps you create audio and video content using lifelike AI voices in less than a minute. As you can see, there's a lot of options to choose here, including the one I've used on this channel before. Flicky helps you create audio and video content using lifelike AI voices in less than a minute. However, they are available on the paid plans. But with the free plan, you'll still get voices that are relatively better than what Pictory will give you. Fleeky helps you create audio and video content using lifelike AI voices in less than a minute. So let's go with Eric and apply it to all the scenes. You can export it at the top and go back to upload it to Pictory on the Upload tab. I'll click on this button to sync the voice to the entire video, which just makes everything so easy. And when it is done, click on Download at the top to export your video, which should be ready in minutes, depending on the length of the video. And here you can export the subtitle as an SRT file, which you can add to YouTube when uploading your video to override the auto-subtitle. 
So I'll download the video and play it for you, but don't go yet, as we'll design the thumbnail and go through the optimization as well. Albert Einstein once said, intellectual growth should commence at birth and cease only at death. But how do we ensure that we continue to grow intellectually every day? Well, the good news is that there are simple and everyday habits that we can incorporate into our lives to become smarter. In this video, I'll share with you three everyday habits that will make you smarter. Number 1. Read every day. Reading is one of the most effective ways to increase our knowledge and intelligence. Make a habit of reading every day, even if it's just for 15 to 20 minutes. Whether it's a novel, news article, or a research paper, reading stimulates our brain and expands our vocabulary. Plus, it's a great way to unwind and relax after a long day. Number 2. Challenge your brain. Our brain needs exercise, just like our body does. Make it a point to challenge your brain regularly. You can do this by learning a new skill, trying a new hobby, or solving puzzles and brain teasers. These activities stimulate our brain and promote the growth of new neural connections, which ultimately leads to increased intelligence. Number 3. Get enough sleep. Getting enough sleep is crucial for our brain to function at its best. When we sleep, our brain consolidates new memories and learning, which enhances our cognitive abilities. Lack of sleep, on the other hand, impairs our cognitive functions, such as attention, memory, and decision-making. So, make sure you get at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep every night to ensure that your brain is well-rested and ready to tackle new challenges. Incorporating these three habits into your daily routine can have a significant impact on your intellectual growth and make you smarter. So, make it a point to read every day, challenge your brain, and get enough sleep. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Better You, for more videos on personal growth and self-improvement. To design thumbnails for these types of videos is easy. And we can do that with Canva for free by creating a new project with the thumbnail dimension. You may find a template to use which you can modify, and go and look at the related videos on YouTube to see how they designed theirs. As you can see here, it's basically a guy showing a habit and some texts that complement it, and so we can model after that here on Canva. I'll replace the text and scale them to fit. Then I'll change the background to a yellow texture and find a guy reading a book on the Elements tab since that's one of the habits we also talked about in the video. I'll remove the background by clicking on Edit Photo at the top. And although this is a paid feature, you can use a website here to remove the background of your photos for free and import it back to Canva. I'll drop the link as well in the description below. So I'll finish off this thumbnail by flipping and enlarging the image, changing the color of the text to dark yellow, and that of the background from gray to black on the Effects tab. I'll change the color of the other texts to black as well, and move the picture to the front. Of course, you can spend more time on it as you like, and if you have some cash, you can hire people on Fiverr to do this for you for as little as $3. For the SEO, you can see that both videos have titles that are similar, so yours too shouldn't be too different. And two to three paragraphs are enough for the description. You can either ask ChatGPT or use the AI coach from vidIQ, both of which are free and will give you a lot of ideas to use. I'll also leave resources on writing good titles for you in the description below. You may also copy their tags, but make sure to remove their brand names. And really, YouTube SEO is not as complicated as many people think it is. I told you earlier that we are not targeting the search, and yes, your main traffic as a newbie if you do these steps right is going to be the suggested videos and the browse feature. You see, YouTube is getting smarter when recommending content now. And what they do is to find audiences with similar interests that are watching those videos and gather the signals from them. If they click and watch your videos, then it'll get pushed to more people and you can eventually show up higher in search results. Some of the questions I do get with these types of videos is, can I monetize AI voice on YouTube? And the easiest answer is that this channel is voiced by an AI. Although you may say this is a tutorial channel, it only shows that no matter what channel you choose to make, give value to your audience. Look at what your competitors are doing, and a realistic AI voice like Flicky wouldn't stop you from growing. If you don't try it, you won't see any result. Moreover, I can show you dozens of channels using AI voice and not showing their face that are monetized, 
and if you start making money, you can definitely hire a voiceover artist to do the voiceover for you. Another question is, hey guy, I published a video and I don't get views. The bitter truth is that it's less likely to blow up with one video. Of course it could happen, but you'll still need to publish more than one video. The two channels I showed you earlier both have over 500 videos, which also took them years to get here. So start your journey today and keep grinding. I wish you all success. If you want to learn how you can create viral videos in bulk, click on this video. And if you enjoy this one, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digital Scholar. Drop your comment below and thank you for watching.